What's up YouTube? This is Ultima Eye Device Vids and this is Tweak Recap. And of course in this episode, just like the previous episodes, I'm gonna be showing you guys five of the best Cydia tweaks that are currently available in Cydia for iOS 7. Let's begin. The first tweak I'm gonna show you guys is called Edit Clocks. It's available for free in Cydia. And what this tweak does is it allows you to, to delete world clocks from the clocks app in iOS just by swiping and hitting delete, just like that. As opposed to clicking edit, minus, then delete, you could just swipe and then hit delete. It's very simple. And again, it's called Edit Clocks. It's available in Cydia for free. And the next tweak I'm going to show you guys is called No Near Me. It's available in Cydia for free. And this tweak removes the Near Me tab from the App Store that Apple added in iOS 7. So in iOS 7, Apple did add the Near Me tab at the bottom of the App Store. And this tweak, as you can see, completely removes it. So if you don't like that tab, you don't use it, or yeah, you just don't need it there for whatever reason, this tweak completely removes it. It's available in Cydia for free. It's called No Near Me. And the next tweak I'm going to show you guys is called Color Keyboard 7. It's available in Cydia for $1.99. However, if you did previously own it back on iOS 6, 5, or 4, it is free. And what this tweak allows you to do is customize the keyboard on iOS. So once you have installed the tweak, just go into settings on your device and scroll down until you do see color keyboard. And once you found it, just go in there. And in here you can enable or disable the tweak. And the first thing you want to do is go to select themes. Now you can choose any of these themes. There's tons to choose from. And I'm going to go with red at the minute and then I'll go back. In the, in the future you will be able to customize the pop-up keys. However, right now that isn't currently available. And you can customize the backgrounds. However, you will need a separate image in order to do that. And you can get the images from the theme gallery if you go in here. And in here, it will allow you to download these certain backgrounds if you want to do that. But I think it works just fine with the normal options. However, if you do want to do this, that is available. I'm just going to go back. And once you have done all your configuring and you're happy with it, just hit save at the top. And then you're going to select respring and your device will respring. And once your device respring's, the keyboard will automatically be applied. So I'm just going to go into the notes app and show you guys the keyboard. I'll make a new note. And as you can see here, there's my red keyboard. It looks very nice. However, again, the pop-up keys aren't customizable at the minute. As you can see, when you click on a key, it just still has the normal way pop-up. But that will be available in a future update. It's a very good tweak. It's called Color Keyboard. Again, it's available in Cydia for $1.99. However, if you did purchase it back on iOS 6, 5, or 4, it is free. And the next tweak I'm going to show you guys is called Gesture. It's available in Cydia for $1.49. And what this tweak does is it allows you to draw certain gestures on your screen to launch certain apps. Now, it's not just a gesture that you perform. You actually have to make your own gesture by drawing. And I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Once you've installed the tweak, go into Settings on your device and scroll down until you do see Activator. Now, if you don't already have the Activator tweak, this tweak will automatically install it with the tweak. And go into Activator and go to Anywhere and choose any of these gestures in order to get the tweak to show up. Now, my current one is Triple Press of the Home button. So, as you can see there, Gesture. Make sure you do click on the gesture and make sure that it shows up under Currently Assigned to. And now once you've done that, just perform the gesture that you just chose and then the tweak will show up. And after you've actually assigned a gesture to an app, normally how you'd launch it is just do the gesture. And for example, I have an S to settings right now, so I do an S and settings just pops up. And I have an I for the messages app and I'll do an I just like this and messages will open just like that. And however, you do have to set it up, of course. And how you do that is you go into the app that you want to assign a gesture to. I'm going to do notes right now. So you go inside the app, and I'm inside the notes app, and you perform the gesture. And once you've done that, click assign at the top. And it's going to say draw to assign current app. So you draw the gesture that you want to be able to launch this app with. And I'm going to do an N because it's notes. I'll do that. And then it says saved gesture. So just click OK. And now whenever you're anywhere on your device, on the home screen, any home screen page, any app, and you perform that gesture, and then do the N, which is what I just did, and it's going to open up notes just like that. And again, you could just do any app that you have assigned. I'll do S again for settings, then I'll do I for the messages app. And I'll do it again because I don't think it got at that time. And there you go, messages. So it's a very great tweak. Again, it's called Gesture. It allows you to launch apps on your device using specific gestures. And the next tweak I'm going to show you guys is called Polyus. It's available in Cydia for 99 cents. And this tweak allows you to customize the app icons that will appear in your control center. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. I'll go into Control Center. And as you can see, I don't have the traditional apps down at the bottom. I can have my own custom ones. I have the App Store, Cydia, Messages, Mail, and Game Center. And they're just shortcuts. I could go right into the app just like that, tap it, and again, I'm in the app without even having to go to the home screen or Spotlight or anything like that. I could just launch any of my favorite apps directly from Control Center. 
And how you choose which ones appear is you go into settings on your device and you could just scroll down until you do see polyus. And you do have the select apps section, which I'm not going to go too far into. All you do is just check off the apps that you have on your device and choose the ones that you want. Now, what I do want to show you is the arrange order. And in here, you could actually choose the order of the apps. And you do have some other settings as well. So these are the apps that I've chosen. You could just drag them by the handle like this up and down to rearrange the order so you can have your favorite custom order of apps. And if you go down here, there are, there are some settings. For example, pagination, which is basically, you can see how it clicks from one page to another when I slide. If you don't want that, if you want smooth scrolling, you could disable this, and I'll show you now. So as you can see now when I swipe over, as you can see, there's no distinct pages. It's smooth scrolling. It'll just stop wherever I want it to. There's no distinct pages that it wants to go to. And the next option is open to first page. And for this option, you need to have pagination on in order for this option to work. And once you have both of these on, basically as it sounds, it's going to open up to the first page. So if I'm on the second page of my toggles, as you can see right here, I exit control center, go back in, it's going to return me right to the first page again. Now, of course, with that option disabled, of course, it's going to do the opposite, which is if I have it on the second page or third page or any other page, I exit, go back in, it's going to remain exactly where I left it. And the next option is the circle icon. So this is actually pretty interesting. With this enabled, it's going to make the shortcuts circular. As you can see here, they're circular. And it actually looks pretty nice because it matches the toggles at the top. Because these again, these toggles match the circular icons at the bottom. That actually looks pretty nice. And there is one more option I want to show you, which is at the top. And it's called Order by Recently Opens. And with this enabled, basically, the order of the shortcuts in your control center will be determined on the last one that you open. So the last one, as you can see right now, is mail, because again, that was the last one that I opened. So if I were to open the app store, then close it, then I'll open up control center, and as you can see, that one's there. And I'll give you another example. I'll open up messages, close it, and then I'll show you that's the latest one that appears in control center. So again, that's really good if you just want the latest ones that you opened right in the front. And this tweak's very good. Again, it's called Polius. It's available in Cydia for 99 cents. Go check it out. And that's all for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.